Hey, what's going on everybody? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Brawling Gaming Channel. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Having a good day. It's a weekend. Enjoy that for sure. Alright, today guys, we're going to be jumping into live ladder gameplay on my main game account. We just go ahead and turn off the sounds. Our war is looking pretty nice. The, the second place has five attacks and they're one down. They have more crowns than us already, so if they win one, they'll get first place. But hopefully, you know, they lose connection or they don't attack the war, stuff like that. You know, that all happens. The second, third place doesn't really have a chance coming up. Fourth, fifth, we're not too worried about them. So hopefully, we get that first place. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's jump into a match. We gotta make sure that our deck is the great one. What are we going to be facing here in the first one? Firecracker. So we'll go with the baby dragon. This could be royal hogs. Alright. I'm just going to do this. To take out the firecracker. And that's like acting as a tank for the um, baby dragon. And we'll just start up the Night Witch into that same lane. And let's apply pressure. The boulder, this could be Graveyard Inferno Dragon. I think I've seen something like this before. Okay, I have poison. Okay, no poison. Uh, do I want to baby dragon that or do I want to play safe and just hold back? I think it's better if I just hold back and maybe activate King Tower here with the uh, Cracker. I think if you do it here, that's activation, I think. Yeah. Okay, King Tower activation is really going to help us out now against this Golem, right? Otherwise, we would have been trying. To, otherwise, we would have tried to use a uh, tornado to activate King Tower, and that wouldn't have been the best play. Because sometimes, you know, it's it's a risky play because sometimes you end up missing it and stuff like that. Um, I think here's what I'm gonna do. I'll just switch lanes and hit him with the goal and play here now. We got seven seconds left, right? And let's hope that we can get to a um, lightning just in time. Nope. Did we? We might have, yeah. And I'm gonna tornado everything in to bring the firecracker in. Barbarian barrel here. I think that's a solid play. Okay, okay. Because. The opponent did go in the right lane with the bowler, so you know that play works out. We'll keep applying pressure here into that same lane though. I'm gonna go with the flying machine here. Um, baby dragon here just to distract that flying firecracker because we want that. Uh, Okay, that's tower. So we're in the game. We're in the game. That's what matters. Just gonna go with that. And we'll go with the golem in the back. Oh, that's unfortunate that the firecracker stayed alive, right? It's not too bad, it's not too bad. And I'm gonna go with the golem here in the pocket. It's a bit of aggressive play, but I think it's the one that will get us a lot of value because the opponent doesn't have an Inferno Tower inside cycle. As you can see guys, there, the Inferno Tower was not in cycle. And if I keep applying pressure here, we should be able to pick up the one with the rocket coming out. That's just too aggressive. And let's get going. What, uh, um, what it um golem deck i have not seen this before with a bowler rocket 
um, Firecracker, Arrows, Goblin Gang. I mean, it was good. Definitely gave us a lot of pressure, but I just feel like it was on the heavier side. 4.6 actually, not too heavy. Mine's 4.3, it's already heavy, but 4.6, you're not really applying pressure, really. But, I mean, the rocket being there, if you if you get in like a good cycle and start rocketing the tower and the night witch or baby dragons, you know, then I can see it being a problem. Firecracker was a bit annoying, definitely. It's a little bit of a struggle to win that, but we're at the new season high, so 61 49. Let's go. Now, let's see what we're going against here. Log. Okay. 2.6. Minor. We'll go with the lumber here then. I have to do it on the outside of the tower so that way the skeletons don't look in the end of getting their hits, right? Um, I'm in trouble because I don't really have a good response to that. Here we go. Oops. Um, yeah, that's well played. Gonna see something else here from the opponent, or is that all? Oh, we'll just go with the miner and golem here. Prince coming out. I'm gonna try to do a lightning here. You know, because um, Mega Minion can get a, a hit or two. Nope, that didn't work out as planned. I mean, we got a lot of damage in though. We're only down like 500 damage. And Prince and Musketeer are out of cycles. So, eh, could have been worse. But we're okay for now. Uh, that's all I'm going to do to that though. Not going to do anything else because we're going to save up a little bit of elixir. And that's going to get a hit, for sure. Actually, two. So we are back in this game. We'll go with this. Go with the Night Witch on this side. And we'll be able to distract the Prince here on this side. I'm going to Mega Minion the Giant because I don't trust my um, Tornadoes. This is perfect. Because we can just Tornado this back. I'm gonna Barbarian Burl that Musketeer. Okay, okay. Um, Lumberjack, the Prince, in hopes of uh, bringing that tower down to lightning range. Night Witch that early. I have to tornado this away to the King Tower. All of a sudden, guys, we are back in this game because, oh, no, 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 that giant. Oh, no, 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 that's unfortunate. That giant did way more than I thought. That's very unfortunate. That's a good game. Oh, no, no, no. I did not think that giant would have that health to take that left tower. I should have dropped something there. I was playing too passive. Wow. So basically, we threw up a game. It's a pretty quick deck. It's a 3.0. I've seen this deck being played by a uh, boss. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a very good deck. Lumberjack into the furnace. Start up the Night Witch. We're fine with that, fine with that. And I'm gonna do this here.
Now, are we gonna see a poison? Okay, that's gonna be a little bit of damage. A little bit, a little bit. I might barbarian barrel this though. Just because we got a cycle and plus we might get a hit or two. Nope. But wow. Double building. Come on. Baby <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna drop that here just to try to lock on the expo for a little bit. Uh, making sure that we deal damage to the bomb tower there. Just gonna do it here on the expo so we can take care of that without getting too much damage done to that tower. That's a lot of damage. We'll just go baby dragon into that main first. And then light up, start up the night witch. And then go with the golem. Hey, this should work out fine because I'm gonna lighten this, this, this. While bringing in this, I'm gonna put bearing barrel, all that. And I'm sending in a Lumberjack because that Snowball let the bats survive. So we're going to get the most value out of the bats there. Lumberjack locking onto the tower. <laughs> How do you wow me But you're running Expo? Hey, what, right? Like you're running Expo, Goblin Hut, and the Furnace. And you wow me. <laughs> Back to 6148. I should have won that game, though. I'm still kind of uh, thinking about that one. We were so close to um, getting that one, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and make a comeback in this one. Princess comes out. We'll go lumber. That's two. Okay, I was I timed it good, so that was only one hit. We're gonna see the um, goblin barrel here, yep. so I have to just activate King Tower nicely. That worked out. And I did the Night Witch right here, so that way one of the goblins will get taken out by the Night Witch, and then we can move on over here. Start a baby dragon. I'm not taking any hits. We're gonna see a knight, probably. Yeah. So we'll go make a minion here for the knight. I have a barbarian as well. Uh, I was a little bit late. I wasn't sure where that was going to the left, to the right, so I delayed it a bit. Um. So that's well played, well played, no hits from the Mega Minion. Yeah, I think I wanted to hold back there. Nice, nice. Night Witch being clutch. And I think I can go Golden here. Um, if there's a Goblin Barrel, I'm gonna ignore, most likely. Nah, I don't think so. 
just because the ice spirit would have done too much. You know, it would have let the goblins get too much damage. I think my only option here is to do this and then load up a baby dragon for the goblin game. Rocket comes out. That's fine. That's a good rocket for us because now I can actually use a Night Witch. Oops. Oh, that was well played here. Uh, I gotta lighten this ASAP. Come on, Lumber. Do a rocket. Nice, nice, nice. I think we're in the game. I think we are in the game. We're gonna tornado. Yep, we got it. Honestly, you guys, 
at this point, it's going to be a good game. Opponent knows it. There's going to be uh, no comeback from this, to be honest. It was just a terrible misclick that I did in the beginning with the Mega Minion that actually took down our tower. Wow. This is, this is a good game. Good comeback, right? Let's go. But we got that 6200, so that's good. That's good. Now let's see what we got. Ranked 75 22 so far. Okay, 62 or 7, guys. I'm just gonna end this one here. I think that's leaving on a good note. I think that's fair. Um, that Mega Minion misclick, though. And I still feel like this game could have been won if I had dropped something to defend the giant from that last hit because there's there was 300 HP on the tower. And uh, the opponent only has two spells, and they don't do enough damage. And I just don't know why I didn't defend that giant, and that cost the game. But all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Balling out, guys. Take care. Peace.